Hey, what's going on guys? Crow Sama here. And today we're taking a look at the mobile app Metabots S. This is exclusive to Japan and unfortunately it is not worldwide. But I'm I'm hoping that with this month being Metabots month on this channel, maybe we can get enough people to be vocal and hopefully someone out there can hear us and bring some of this Metabots goodness to either the state side or even other places around the world. But without further ado, we're going to be taking a look at some of these Metabots within the game because it's Metabots month. Why not? The first one I'm going to take a look at is going to be MetaB. Now this is the KBT-01. This one is pulled from the banner and it is a default three-star suit. Or not suit, while well, I'm so used to Gundam. It is a three-star default Metabot. Now this is going to be a primary shooter, just looking at all the uh, stats right there on the right-hand side. And we'll take a look at each individual part before we just go and deep dive into what it looks like on screen. Now first off, this is going to be the metal I used. Um, it basically is going to be for this particular metabot. It really focuses on the shooting aspect. It's really good, um, and we'll take a look at the metaphors for it as well. Now one thing I did pull up is going to be the stats on this metal. Um, I, I really have a hard time finding any information on like parts, stats, metals of this game because I, it's just really a lot of this game is not supported online. And I think even the wiki for this game got taken down. So if anyone can either send me a link to where I can brush up on my information of this game or you can let me know what the translation of this is in the comment section below, that would be great. Now we're going to take a look at the headpiece first. Um, now what I've known, I, I learned a lot of what the symbols are and some of the stats, so we're going to take a look at those. Now I know the ability for the head is going to be a multi-missile, and that is going to be identified with that little nuke symbol right there at the bottom. That means it's hitting all parts essentially. So uh, this is going to be the description of it, and I would like to know what that 3 plus 200 is. So if you can let me know what that means, uh, trust me, I wish I knew more because I can give you all a lot more information, but if someone can redirect me to a good page, that would be great. Now looking at the stats, this is going to have uh, 2005 armor. It is also going to have a success rate of 717. That's basically the parts accuracy. And then you're going to have a power of 930. The charge, that is actually going to be 375 and lastly the cooldown is going to be 353 now the cooldown is uh basically that's how fast the metabot returns to the command line after performing the parts action so obviously higher numbers equals faster the one thing i don't know is what did what is a high number is it a thousand it is is it 700 i don't know what that average part number should be when it comes to uh the cooldown now you're also going to have the charge, that's basically how fast it reaches the center line, obviously higher numbers equals faster, uh, so it's it's a little bit higher than the return, which is pretty good, because you want to hurry up and get to the point in the beginning to just let loose whatever uh, attack you, you have. Now you're also going to have the ammo and uses, that's going to be number 5, that's basically uh, how many times that can be used, so you can use the head uh, ability 5 times. Now also the reload metaphors, that can reload that number as well. Now I did notice something is um, that power is that symbol right there, the, uh, the kanji. That is actually power plus 200. But I'm still trying to figure out what the, um, the plus 3 or what the 3 is supposed to be. So we're taking a look at the right arm. This is going to be a single shot use, so it's really good to get that precise damage on whatever part you're trying to go after instead of doing scatter shot damage. Uh, now the armor is going to be 1787. You're going to have a success rate of 881, which is a lot more than the head. Uh, the power is less than the head, which is a 651, and pretty much all the levels are, are, are almost the same with all the parts I have. And you're also going to have the charge, which is going to be 591, and then 522 for the cooldown. So a lot higher than the head, which is pretty good. So whenever you select this, you should be hitting that, that line more, uh, well, faster than what the head part is. Once again, you're going to get a power increase of 200, but I'm still trying to figure out what that 3 is. Now 
Now next we're going to have is the left arm. This is going to have 1500. This is also 8 levels lower than the uh, right arm, mind you. But it's going to be armor 1537. You're going to have the success at 609. Power is going to be 867, so that's really good. Uh, but this is also going to be a scatter shot attack. Uh, then you're going to have um, success of 600 and uh, sorry, not uh, charge 646. Then you're going to have cooldown 470. Uh, now the scatter to explain that is going to hit three times with the second and third hits hitting random parts. It uses one third of the power for each individual hit. So um, it's going to hit. The, it's going to shoot three different shots. The first shot is going to be where you're targeted. So whatever item that you selected or whatever part on the enemy, it's going to hit that one target. The other two is going to be random, and all three shots should be one third of the power of each individual hit. That's essentially what it should be. Now lastly, coming to legs. Um, to my knowledge, the legs in this particular game do not have any passive abilities like they did in many of the other Metabots games. Uh, blue looking at the stats, that's what look pretty much good. Uh, you look over here, you're going to have different terrain that it's specialized in. So uh, you can see the A right there, the first A, I believe, uh, let me check what that is. The first A is going to be Grassland. Then the S right next to it is going to be Forest. Then you're going to have arena for that next a and then s is going to be cyber so those are the main like air arenas that you're really going to want to focus on so that way you have the best um, ability to you know walk on these terrains all right guys well that concludes this video so i just wanted to really take a little bit of time to talk about you know this individual metabot and i would love to do more in the future i kind of want to make this almost a daily kind of segment because there's a lot of metabots to go through um, so maybe that could be something in the future, uh, but we'll see how many of these videos I can do. And if you really want to see more, then, hey, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you can, share this with the Metabot community. It, you know, it really would help that more people can see this game, and especially the ones that are already in the community, but they just haven't played this game. Uh, let them know that, hey, this game exists. Go ahead and download it, play it, and try and share you know, as much as you can uh, with it. And also, you can join the Metabots Discord. I'll uh, Hopefully, I'll post a link in the description below, and you can go ahead and join and have a great time with all of us Metabot, uh, Metabrotters, I think that's what we we'll call ourselves. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it for me, guys. So let me know uh, if you want to see more of these videos, and I'll try and get them to you. But that's it for me. I'll be seeing you later. Bye-bye.